Now let me begin by thanking all the collaborators who have made this possible. From the federal government to the state of Illinois, to our local villages and utility providers, to our partners in this project, Forefront Power, and to our own Board of Education and families who have supported this idea from the onset. This is such a powerful example of cooperation at all levels to do something good, not just for our planet, but also for the community, our taxpayers, and our students. I'm so proud of the position that we've attained as a model for other public entities in implementing energy saving efforts. This area of innovation is a natural fit for us. Over the past decade, we have developed a national reputation as a leader in implementing innovative programs to improve the education of our students. And it was actually with that goal in mind, providing the best possible education for our students, that the idea for this project came to be. For us, it is clear that the more tax dollars that we can divert away from operational costs, such as electricity, and toward the classroom, the better education we will provide for our students. So it was about a decade ago that now uh, Mr. Rinkosik, our outstanding Director of Operations and Maintenance, began approaching our then superintendent with some proposals on how we could accomplish just that. Since then, we've achieved a, n a number of energy saving successes. We have worked closely with experts to implement cost saving purchasing strategies. We've taken on projects that many school districts have shied away from. And our staff have endured a few long summer afternoons without what they might feel optimal air conditioning conditions to take advantage of uh, peak load reductions. More importantly, we've reduced the amount of energy our buildings used, even while we have added square footage to keep up with our growing student population. Some of the projects we've taken on include upgrading over 9,000 light fixtures to energy efficient models, replacing HVAC equipment with premium efficiency units, participating in guaranteed energy saving contracts to upgrade HVAC and lighting controls throughout the district, as well as acting on recommendations from CDEC, the Smart Energy Design Assistance Center, while completing our re recent expansion and renovation projects at Huntley High School. We've seen our total spend on gas and electrical decrease from over 2.3 million in FY09 to just over 1.2 million last year. And in our current budget, we expect that number to fall again. On a per square foot basis, our utility costs have decreased by over 50% in the past decade, and that's before solar. That translates to somewhere between 700,000 and a million dollars annually that is available to go towards learning instead of toward burning. Along the way, seven of our nine buildings have received Energy Star ratings. That leads us to now and the project that we're here to celebrate today. Under the agreement we've signed with, partner, with our partner Forefront Power to install what in total will be the largest solar array on school district property in the state of Illinois, our students stand to benefit from a minimum of $4.2 million being diverted away from energy costs and back into their education over the next 20 years. I am also excited to come and check out the kiosks in each of the buildings uh, that will monitor what's happening with our energy production in real time. And, that to the and add that to the green energy curriculum that Forefront will be helping to facilitate within our schools and our students will be among the best versed in the country in this vital and emerging new field. We are so excited to share this next chapter in our story with our community, with our fellow public entities throughout the state and country and the role we play in shaping the energy future of Illinois and the United States. Thank you again for joining us on this journey. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of our school board, who has been a driving force behind this project, Mr. Michael Fleck. Thank you, Dr. Rowe. Let me first again welcome all of you to this milestone for District 158. I'd also like to acknowledge all of our fellow public servants on the local, state, and federal levels. Your presence here signifies the import of what we are doing here. It's something that truly has a ripple effect to all whose lives are touched by what we're doing at Huntley 158 in the name of education. Our mission statement is all students, always. 
It's not just a clever and catchy phrase. It's what drive, drives all that we do. Every decision we make as a board, every project we undertake, every policy we implement has the primary question of how will this help our students? If we can answer that positively, then we proceed. I'm gonna divert for five seconds from my comments. If you look to your left, that's what we're doing this for. And I love hearing that sound in the background. This solar project epitomizes that mission statement. We live in a world that is changing faster than ever in the history of man. While we progress with technology and information, we're also catching up to the real challenges of being good stewards of our environment. It starts with us, and we need to pass the baton to our students as they enter adulthood. So how does this impact all students always? First, we will be significantly reducing the cost of providing energy to all three of our campuses. Anytime we can reduce operational costs without sacrificing the quality of the infrastructure for our students and staff, that helps us allocate an already tight education budget in a way that benefits the educational services that we provide. Second, green energy is not just the future, it is the here and now. Educating our students with how electricity is produced, how it's used, and what impact its generation and use has on our local and global environment will help them understand their current and future role of being good stewards of the environment. Third, the solar arrays that will be constructed and operational on each campus will be a daily reminder to our students for at least a generation to come of how we are harnessing the most abundant, stable, and clean energy source resource available, the sun. How these arrays coexist in our environment, how much our carbon footprint is reduced by utilizing solar energy for public education, and what each student can personally do going forward to positively contribute to their planet is part of our mission. We are fortunate as a Board of Education to play a part in this project and are grateful for the opportunity to approve it. The vision of the administration, the care and professionalism of our certified staff in guiding our students, and the incredible support of our Huntley 158 community, the local governmental partners, as well as Forefront are all to be commended in making this a reality. So yes, this is a milestone for all students, always. Thank you. And now, I'd like to introduce a gentleman who's constantly looking for ways to have the highest quality and most efficient facilities anywhere, Mr. Doug Renkosik, Operations and Maintenance Director for 158. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everyone, for coming to help us celebrate this uh, big moment for our school district. It's been a long journey. When I joined the team in 2002, in the first weeks I worked here, I was approached by the leaders of our community, our board member representatives, who said to me they would like to be a lighthouse district in matters of renewable energy. And we explored several different opportunities over the years. But in 2014, the idea of solar became a closer reality for our school district. Still, that was five years back. In March of 2018, we released an RFP looking for a good partner that could work with us to make it a reality. In June, we were fortunate to find a real good partner in Forefront Power. And in August, we were very fortunate to work with three villages who were very cooperative and understanding and supportive of the idea that we were going to try to build these solar arrays on our three campuses. In August, I'm sorry, in November, we uh, had the cooperation of ComEd solidified with their approval of our interconnection agreements. And in May, we heard that our solar renewable energy credits were approved, May of this year. Yet the, we're almost done with the journey towards the putting the shovel in the ground and actually making it happen. It's a very exciting moment for this school district. I, I'm very pleased and just want to reinforce how important this is for our school district and for the environment that we live in to find alternatives to carbon emissions. Um, and uh, we are gonna save money. At the same time, it's a wonderful effort. Thank you very much. And at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, one of the people that's been a key patient individual in our long multiple question process on this effort to put this together, Rachel McLaughlin from Forefront Power.
hello everyone. Um, and I'd like to thank Doug for the introduction. My name is Rachel McLaughlin. I'm the Vice President of Sales at Forefront Power. And I should probably take off these green glasses. Thank you. I was not prepared for the wind. Um, so I want to thank Huntley for inviting me to speak to you today. On behalf of Forefront Power, I would like to first acknowledge Huntley's decision to move forward with these very unique solar projects. Uh, we are a trusted solar partner to lots of schools nationwide, and through this work, I have seen firsthand that it takes leadership, vision, and hard work to get a project like this off the ground. Uh, throughout the process, Huntley's staff and school board have inspired me with their attention to detail. Doug is very detailed and the extra work they have put in every step of the way to help make these projects happen. Uh, here at Huntley's School District Square Barn Campus, we are standing at the future site of a 1.7 megawatt solar project. This solar array will provide electricity to Conley, McCabin, and Heinemann schools. In just a few short months, 78% of your energy will be coming from solar power. But that's not all. Uh, today we also celebrate the groundbreaking of two other solar projects at the Reed Road and Harmony Road campuses. All together, these systems will be supplying eight schools with 5.6 megawatts of solar power. The amount of electricity that these projects will generate is equivalent to the amount required to power more than 900 homes a year. That makes Huntley Community School District one of the largest K through 12 programs to go solar ever, um, and perhaps the largest in the state of Illinois. So congratulations to you all for your leadership. impact of these projects is significant. By going solar, Huntley will offset nearly 12.3 million pounds of carbon emissions per year. Um, that's equivalent to taking over 1,000 cars off the road. Uh, and this achievement is not only impressive for its environmental impact, but also the savings it provides to Huntley School District. The Square Barn, Reed Road, and Harmony Road projects will all benefit from economic incentives from the Illinois Power Authority under the Adjustable Block Program or the ABP. These incentives will help to lower the cost of Cuntley's electricity purchases over the next 20 years. So to the 10,000 students that will be learning in classrooms powered by the sun, I encourage you to learn as much as you can about solar energy. Your agreement with us includes access to an integrated renewable energy curriculum through our partner, Schools Power. Finally, today's groundbreaking ceremony would not have been possible without the nearly two years of hard work done by the teams at Huntley School District and Forefront Power. I would like to give special thanks to Doug Rinkoskic, Mark Altemeyer, Dan Armstrong, Scott Rowe, and Jason Grissom, who um, have worked with me daily, <laughs> it feels like, over the past two years. So thank you all for having me today, and now I would like to hand things over to Dr. Rowe. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, at this time, it's my pleasure to introduce and welcome uh, Congressman Lauren Underwood of the, of the 14th Congressional District. Congressman Underwood has been an advocate for cleaner energy and shifting away from the use of fossil fuels and is a great friend to the educational community. Thank you, Congressman Underwood, for joining us today. Thank you so much to Michael Fleck uh, and the Huntley School District and to Forefront for inviting me to be part of this event today. I would also like to acknowledge Senator DeWitt. I saw him walk up. Yes, hi, Don. Uh, and State Representative Alice Gillicorn, Huntley Mayor Chuck Sass, and Algonquin Visit President, Village President John Schmidt for joining today. The clean energy infrastructure that we have come together to launch and celebrate today would not have been possible without incentives and partnership from the federal government, the state of Illinois, and committed leaders at the Huntley School District. This project is a tremendous example of how local infrastructure plays an essential role, uh, especially in leadership in ensuring a sustainable clean energy future. And because this project is deploying across a school district, it not, it's not only an investment in clean energy, it's an investment in our children's education. It's an incredible opportunity for our students to learn about the science and value of solar energy. Without a doubt, children will inherit a world with a different energy landscape. And learning about renewable energy firsthand at school will better equip them for the future. Because of this project, students across School District 158 will be able to monitor and get hands-on experience with renewable energy that is sure to drive our economy 
and what we have come to rely on to power our homes and businesses. Some of them will even go on to work and the field, in the energy field, as engineers, salespeople, and business leaders. Some will go on to develop technologies to make renewable energy production even more efficient and more cost effective. We all know that transitioning to renewable energy sources is an environmental and a moral imperative. The scientific community has been sounding the alarm bells for decades, and we have to act. Huntley's solar panel project is an important step towards a cleaner, healthier environment here in Northern Illinois, and I commend the school district and Forefront Power for making this possible. It gives me great hope to know that the students of School District 158 will see their school district leaders proactively making changes to decrease their carbon footprint. This project will be an example to school districts across the country for how to contribute to energy efficient communities. As your representative, I'm committed to championing policies, uh, championing policies excuse me, that support investment in renewable energy, especially infrastructure projects that benefit Northern Illinois. And so I'm so excited to see how this project impacts the Huntley community and all of our students. Congratulations. And thank you so much for your commitment to our schools and to our students and leading the way to a sustainable future. Be well. Thank you, Congressman Under Congresswoman Underwood, and thank you to all of you who have joined us today. Um, thank you, Senator DeWitt, who participated in the Illinois Principal Association, Principal for a Day today at Huntley High School. He survived. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Uh, thank you to Representative Skillicorn for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Dave Johnson and Mayor Sass from the village of Huntley, uh, Tim Schloniger and President Schmidt from Algonquin, and Jennifer Claw and President Rosansky from Lake in the Hills. Um, it, your partnership on this project at all stages has been valued greatly. Finally, thank you to the Huntley School District 158 School Board. Your support and vision for the future of our school district is paving the way for a brighter future for all of our students. Thank you very much. Um, with those, let's see here. Thank you for joining us, the elected officials, school board members, and village administrators. If you could stick around uh, for some photos while we formally break ground, uh, we would appreciate it. But thanks very much. Be sure you get some information if you haven't already and, and some sunglasses and, and walk away with, uh, with some swag. But thank you very much for joining us.